aren't you? You're making it all up. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Rebellion. Foolish child. Do you have any idea how many muggles the Ministry had to obliviate to cover up your actions? You could have been killed! You could have exposed us all! Why does my job Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Revelio. Off on another adventure, are we? Lumos. How inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind I'd him like to finish the lesson. Some of us don't necessarily want him to go back to the lesson. I should like to retire from small family. There's an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> 
Welcome to year five of charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Ah. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree, hmm? <laughs> So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off, hmm? Simply cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last Accio. Now, that's it! Not to worry. Very good! Don't lose your composure! Excellent control there. Very good. Points to Gryffindor. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the Blues, just as before. And Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. There we go.
Stay focused. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. That is how it's done. Not to worry. Good, both of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? Its address is Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick, I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me, this enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. I must admit, however, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah. I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. 
Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, you can use Akio on humans, if you're so inclined. Well, you'd be using it on... After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that, cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Revelio. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor. Though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan.
Revelio. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Rebellio. The unfairness of being hung here, why it warrants looking into. People crumbling about a foul smell. Nice to see you, my young friend. To whiff of anything, I mean, should there be? Revelio. Resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, 
You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso? A levitation charm? Levioso! A surprised opponent has a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with the basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak Levioso. Now, you're done. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Lucky. Nothing lucky about it. This is your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. There you go. How do you jump in life and you? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Gryffindor. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. If you know the right spells, it's dark wizards that'll fear you, not the other way around. Revelio. Jeweled Sebastian, he's strong competition. Well done. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore.
Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Salo, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. In fact, it was. Perhaps I have a knack for it. Be coy if you like, but I know better. Magic requires intention and talent. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance, if you're interested. Till next time. Rebellion. Again. Here I've come from the toilet bowl where she said I could swim. Did you practice a mole? As long as we're only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory. Not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges to be absolute or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim! Whee! I'll get you for this.
Revelio. Glad you could make it. Lucan's just over there. Revelio. Levioso. Revelio. Levioso. Accio. Lumos. Levioso. Accio. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinate duels for crossed ones. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. I'm flattered to hear that. Sebastian's not a bad duelist either. Imagine it's quite something to see the two of you duel. How does Cross Wands work exactly? You show up, I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Of course. Dueling's an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in Crossed Ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. Your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or duel alone. So, care to step into the ring? Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up 
and you could be the next school champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organise these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, congratulations on your first Crossed Ones victory. Well fought. Hope to see you back here again. Next time you need a partner for Cross Swans, don't hesitate to call on me. Just wait till I've grown a bit, then we'll see how well you do. I feel sorry for your next opponent. Revelio. Rebellion.
Revelio. Revelio. said that travel broadens the mind. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streeler. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Can you tell me more about the potions shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asks that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you.
I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks.